one extremely valuable tip for a beautiful lawn. <laughs> one extremely valuable tip to keep your lawn happy is to feed it. Today we're talking all about lawn food, also known as fertilizer. So let's get out of the weeds. Now when it comes to fertilizing your lawn, there's typically going to be two main ways to fertilize. That's either going to be by liquid or granular. Today I'm going to be focusing on granular because that's by far going to be the most common that most of you are going to be doing. When we talk about fertilizing, we're typically going to be focused on three main nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So when you look on the front of a bag, you're going to see typically three numbers, and that's going to be standing for your nitrogen, phosphorus, and your potassium. And now when you see those three numbers, I want you to think in left to right, I want you to think top, bottom, and all around, because that's typically what those nutrients are covering. When we talk about nitrogen, we're typically going to be talking about our top growth, the things we can visibly see in our lawn making our lawn grow quicker, making our lawn get a darker colored green. That's gonna be nitrogen. And it's gonna be the one that we're typically measuring the most when we're putting it on our lawn throughout the year. Next, we have phosphorus. Phosphorus is gonna be underneath, so below. We're talking about the root growth uh, for our grass to give it healthy roots. And then when we're talking about potassium, potassium is kind of the all around, just health of your grass and it's going to be what you're going to use to help get your lawn out of stressful periods. Potassium is good to have in your fertilizers during the summer. Also when there's disease presence, anything where your lawn just overall health, if you're trying to get your lawn to recover, that's going to be where potassium comes in. Now before I actually get my hands on some real fertilizer and kind of break down how to apply, I want to kind of go over, hey, just a general fertilizer schedule, an easy thing that you can do to kind of stick with it and always kind of remember when it's time to go. Now when it comes to fertilizing, you want to get to a regular schedule. And the easiest one that I can come up with that I tell people about is to just fertilize on the holidays throughout the year, beginning with around Easter. We just had Easter, so now is a great time, if you haven't put fertilizer down for the year, to go ahead and throw it down. And then just begin to follow the holidays throughout the rest of the year and kind of just make it a fun thing built around the holidays and it's something easy to remember. So we start with Easter. The next thing we do, we can go down Memorial Day. Then we got 4th of July. Nothing better than fireworks and fertilizer going together. So 4th of July is a great time to throw down. Then as we get further along, think Labor Day. Let's work. Work out in the lawn. Make our good gains on our lawn with our fertilizer. Then we got Halloween. Your neighbor's lawn's looking scary, so you're gonna throw down some fertilizer so yours doesn't start looking like that. And then we start ending the season as we get in closer to Thanksgiving, we're getting ready to eat. Our lawns are hungry before they go down for winter, getting ready to hibernate over the winter. So we give it a nice Thanksgiving meal, throw down some fertilizer uh, for your lawn. So if you just kind of follow those, so now if you just follow those holidays throughout the year, it's going to kind of spread it out. So what we want to kind of do is get down two to four pounds of nitrogen for the year for your lawn. And now I'm gonna get into how you figure that out right now. All right, so to do this, I have with me two bags of fertilizer that have different nutrients levels that are meant for different things. And so I wanna show you that you can go to the store, buy any bag of fertilizer, and these same types of rules are gonna apply. So beginning with this baby right here, we got the Stay Green Lawn Starter Fertilizer. I've never used this before. For this video, I was like, let's just grab a couple random fertilizers and let's see what we got. So reading it here quickly, you just go in the store reading this thing. Quickly establishes new lawns, feeds up to three months for strong, deep grass roots. Oh yeah, sounds like, sounds like a lot of goodness in this bag. Well, when we look at the numbers right here, we got ourselves an 18246. What these stand for, Back to our nutrients, 18% nitrogen, 24% phosphorus, and 6% potassium. Whenever you see starter fertilizer on the bag, you're typically gonna be seeing all three nutrients. 
because what these are going to be focused on doing is helping your new grass seed, you're planting new grass seed, throwing it down and trying to give it all the nutrients that it needs. Whereas opposed to if you already have an established lawn, whenever it comes to phosphorus and potassium in those, your grass doesn't need those as often. It goes through nitrogen far quicker than the other nutrients. And so you may not be putting down a fertilizer that is even having any phosphorus or potassium, depending on what you're putting down. So now I'm gonna show you here on the screen the analysis sheet on the back of this bag. And you'll see here where it has the breakdown of the 18, 24, and six percentages there with a little bit further broken down underneath the nitrogen there. What you'll always see when it comes to your bags of fertilizer is it'll break down where is the nitrogen coming from because your nitrogen is either going to be a fast release nitrogen or a kind of slower or timed release nitrogen. So think of the, the fast release nitrogen kind of as that quick shot, like you're tired in the morning, you need your cup of coffee to get you going. It's that jolt to your lawn. It's making the nitrogen readily available to your lawn quickly so that it can uptake it and start rolling. Whereas slow release is going to kind of be just released out over time, feeding for longer periods of time. So that's where you're seeing kind of below there where it starts talking about the types of it. So if you look there for the urea nitrogen, 8.61. Now urea nitrogen, typically you'll say fast release. When you see urea, you're thinking fast release. But look, there's an asterisk there. When you look down at the very bottom, it'll say 3.8% slow release urea nitrogen. Why? Because it has the polymer coated urea. So when you're talking about the coated, whenever the urea is coated, that's typically going to be when it's a slower release. So whenever you look at the bag here, when it comes to the nitrogen, this bag is not a lot of slow release. Most of the nitrogen in this bag is ready to hit your lawn quick and get it going. Now it does stay on the front of the bag, feeds for up to three months. So there is a little bit of slow release in there, but this thing is going meant to hit that new grass seed and get your lawn established quickly. So now that we went over a starter fertilizer, let's look at a different fertilizer that's trying to do a completely different thing here. So now as we take a look at the guaranteed analysis on the back of this sheet, you can see that it's a lot different than what was on the starter fertilizer. Now with this one here, you're going to see the 30% nitrogen. This one has no phosphorus and then it has a little bit of potassium. Now, when you read below the nitrogen, you'll see that it has 29.3% urea nitrogen. So you think fast release, but it has the asterisk. So as you go and you start looking through there, you look to the bottom and you start seeing the asterisks is there, and you'll see that it does have a lot of it is a slow release with the different coatings. So this is going to give you a lot more of a slow release and just a little bit of a faster release. And that's where you get kind of the labeling on the bag where it says can feed up to six months. So this fertilizer here isn't meant to just put on your lawn and give it that quick hit. This is to kind of feed your lawn, give it a little burst now, but kind of have it kind of get released kind of throughout as time goes by. So that way it can sustain a good feeding as opposed to just a quick hit on your lawn. So you can see here, as I put it on the screen, me doing some calculations to figure out how much nitrogen are we putting down on the lawn. So the first one here, we're gonna be talking about the starter fertilizer that had 18% nitrogen. So when we go and we start figuring it out, we have a 14.4 pound bag. That's how, much, that's how much this bag weighs right here. So you take the weight of your bag and then times it by the percentage of nitrogen in the bag, which in the case of this one is 18%. Once we get the 18%, that's telling us how much nitrogen is in the entire bag. Next, you need to break your lawn up into 1,000 foot sections. So if you're doing a 4,000 foot lawn, which is what this bag covers, you would do four 1,000 foot sections. So you're taking that number that you got from the total amount of nitrogen in the bag, dividing it by four to give us 0.65 pounds of nitrogen that you're gonna be putting on your lawn if you put down this fertilizer. Now, as we get into the other fertilizer, now look, that has 30% nitrogen, we're gonna be doing the exact same math. 14.4 pound bag, because that's how big the bag was, and we're gonna times that by the percentage. And that's gonna give us how many pounds of nitrogen are in that entire bag. 
Now, for a 4,000 square foot lawn, which is that, that bag also covers, you're gonna be taking that divided by four because you have four 1,000 foot sections, and that's gonna give you just over a pound of nitrogen when you're putting that application. So you can see there's a huge differences in how these fertilizers are designed. The first one is just giving you a little over a half pound of nitrogen and it's gonna be a quick hitter to your lawn to help green it up quick and get new grass established. That's why it's a starter fertilizer. It's also having all three of the main macronutrients in there so that it gives your lawn a good foundation as opposed to the other one that's really heavy on the nitrogen with the 30%, doesn't have any phosphorus and just has a little bit of potassium. That one is going to give you over a pound of nitrogen each application you put it down. But the thing to know with that nitrogen is that a lot of that nitrogen is slow release. So it's going to give you a little jolt starting out, but it's meant to feed it over time. It says up to six months per the bag. And so you're getting a lot of nitrogen on your lawn, but it's going to be slower throughout time as opposed to your starter fertilizer here that's going to be more of a quick hit and not last as long. So now it's time to spread this fertilizer. So I have my bag here. I have my Scott spreader. This is a good spreader to start out with. This is the mini one. So if you have a little bit bigger lawn, you can upgrade to their deluxe size and they have different sizes of this. So if you have a big lawn, say bigger than 5,000 square feet, I would probably upgrade to the bigger one because you're just gonna keep filling up the hopper. Now the thing with Scott's is they make it real easy with their spreaders to be able to put down fertilizer applications because they have this nice handy dandy orange dial. So you can see here on the dial here, I just have this little dial. So you can see here I have this little dial that I can twist and these numbers will associate to how wide the mouth is of this spreader. So if you look here, if you look real close, I'll pull the handle and you see the mouth open, not very wide. Now, let me bump this thing up to a high, high number. Wow, look how wide that is. So you figure, now look, that's on a 15, the highest setting. That baby's about wide open. The thing with the Scott spreaders, they do a great job because they're pretty much all listed on the back of any fertilizer you buy is mostly gonna have a Scott spreader. What I'm gonna be doing today is the regular rate. So I'm looking there at a four because I have a Scott spreader there and my rate's gonna be four. Just got done spreading that fertilizer. One thing you wanna make sure, you wanna get your fertilizer watered in. In spring, it's not typically that big of a problem because usually some rain's just around the corner. But if you're starting to get into the summer and that and you're trying to keep your lawn going, you wanna make sure you get that watered in with about a half inch of water. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to put down granular fertilizers. I'll see you next time when we get out of the weeds into a beautiful lawn.